I was I was so desperate to get Zig to sleep properly. I even went along to a sleep seminar by like a well known sleep person here in New Zealand because it was free, right? And um, me and me and the friends whose baby's awesome, and we we went along to this sleep seminar with this well known New Zealand author, and it was awful. She said. She said that your body is a mattress and if a mattress can't do it, then you shouldn't be doing it because what are you teaching your child to rely on? You know, can a mattress bum pat your child? No. Then why are you bum patting your child? How will they ever sleep on a mattress if you're teaching them that they need to rely on bum pats? And oh, and, and she said, well, you know, you you could breastfeed them to sleep, but is that a habit you want to be stuck doing forever? And, oh, and baby, every day and the, ever. And, and, the, ever. And, and then she'd say to parents that, you know, you might be trying some new thing, but if you haven't tried for six weeks, then you really haven't given it a good go. And it, it was just, her whole thing was having a super, super strict routine so that the baby knows what to expect because, you know, when you're two months old, you can look at a clock and that your body as, um, as a mum wasn't there to provide comfort is what it felt like. Like don't, don't rock and don't sway and don't breastfeed and for the love of God, don't bring your child into your bed. And it was so uh, everyone's just nodding like oh yeah that makes sense and it just made no sense because if your little baby is crying and then you hug them and they stop crying then obviously that's what you need to do right Absolutely. and if, if you're sleeping in the same bed as them and and you're doing it safely and you're not under the influence of anything and you're breastfeeding and you're waking up with them and you're in that rhythm together then that's what you do and there was no one out there saying to do that not, not that I found so you were when you were listening to this and like were these thoughts straight in your mind or do you think at the time you you swallowed some of the Kool-Aid or did you immediately go hang on a sec this isn't making sense I was so anti I was listening to everything she said, like, you're just talking bullshit. <laughs> I <laughs> love you, Em. I love that. See, that's the kind of thing. Like, I was missing that part of the puzzle. That's the kind of thing that I would have swallowed whole and taken it on for just another sign that I'd built all these sleep crutches with my child. I would have, well, I did. I went down that track. So I love that about you. You were able to hear that in the thick of it all and call bullshit. That's skillful, lady. Uh, I call I call bullshit on it because she didn't know Ziggy and she was not in our house every night and she didn't see what worked and what didn't work. And and I knew what worked and I knew that all the eat, feed, sleep in the world wasn't going to work. He was just so different to my expectation of what a baby was going to be.